group of Dubois County residents are uh, talking about the potential problems that could arise from the Mid-States Corridor, the proposed highway to connect the Natcher Bridge to I-69. Well, they met near Huntingburg tonight, less than a month after a series of public information forums. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is back from Dubois County with the latest on what happened then. Mike? Now, the group, which included several farmers and others connected to the agriculture industry, say they worry what could happen to their homes or farms. Now, while a preferred route has yet to be decided, those opposing the highway worry about what happens if the project gets too close to them. But the people in town need to be made aware of who's going to pay the final bill on that road. We have to ask them why, why you want to do it. Those are some of the concerns and questions asked by some about the road with major implications for people across Du Bois and other southwest Indiana counties. Because it affects farmers, it affects people out in the country. Um, their land, their livelihood. Sheila Wentholt's family is involved in farming, and she opposes the corridor. She worries how it could impact area farms, and those who could lose a part of their farms or even their homes. No preferred route has been identified yet. My son has a farm that in three years will be in our family for 100 years, and if it goes another route, it will hit very, very close to my house. Well, it would just, if it went through the middle of our farm, we've got several hundred acres, and if it would split our farm up, it would just make it devastating because we couldn't get from one side of the road to the other. During at least one public forum, flyers were put on vehicle windshields, urging people to oppose the project. Mindy Peterson of Miss State's Corridor says they're still very early in the process. She says they'll continue to share studies and that public feedback plays an important role in the process. Some residents signed a petition claiming the corridor will lead to a loss of agricultural income and harm the environment and small community atmosphere. I don't know what could be done for us. Jasper and Hungberg probably needs a better route around those cities, but uh, I don't know the answer how to follow, solve that problem. The Peterson also tells us they're still take, taking responses until March 23rd to a screening questionnaire they put out. All right, and uh, Mike, is there any way uh, that there could be a compromise? Did anyone at the meeting say there's something that can come up that would satisfy both sides? Well, you know, some, like one of the farmers we talked with for our story tonight, say they don't know if there's a solution, but there are others uh, they, they, who say that, you know, there really is no solution to it. They just don't want the project. All right.